Hi everyone, my name is David and this is our week 5 video for FST 3055, the UAV and High Technologies course. So in this week's lecture we continue talking about some of the new high technologies uh, that are impacting the engineering and fire safety disciplines. And our prompt for this week's video is to take one or more of these subjects and provide a summary on how we can use it to improve just some sort of discipline of our choice. Uh, so I'm going to focus more on the aerospace side like usual and talk a little bit about spacewalks and how the technology can uh, improve spacewalks. So the first technology that I'm going to talk about is LIDAR, that is light detection and ranging technology. And what LIDAR is, is it's a way to measure distancing using laser beams to create a 3D representation of the surveyed environment. Uh, the lecture already talked about a couple of different ways this has been applied. For example, in emergencies, using it to uh, provide first responders with more data on the environment they're walking into. Uh, and they're also talking about using it uh, in the automotive industry for autonomous driving. Uh, I know Microvision was one of the links in the lecture that has a, some really cool stuff for LiDAR technology. Uh, but specifically related to what I want to talk about, which is spacewalks. Basically, a spacewalk is any time an astronaut needs to go outside the aircraft, whether it be a satellite, a space shuttle, the space station, uh, just any time they need to work on an exterior component, repair something, uh, retrieve an object, stuff like that. And I think LiDAR technology is going to be huge for that because... Right now, what they're having to do is they're having to tether to the spacecraft that they're exiting from and just sort of have an estimate of how far they need to travel. So if you can have LiDAR technology sort of analyze the entire environment before the astronaut even steps foot outside the air or the spacecraft, uh, that will sort of improve the efficiency with which the astronaut is able to complete the task and also definitely keep the astronaut safer as well. Uh, staying on the topic of spacewalks, let's talk about one of the other technologies from the lecture, and that's augmented reality. So I think that augmented reality can be used very predominantly in the aerospace industry, especially with satellites and some of the spacewalks that I was talking about earlier. Uh, just to give a little background, augment, augmented reality differs just a little bit from virtual reality. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen virtual reality before where you put that headset on and it sort of covers your entire face and you're seeing an entirely different environment than what's actually around you. Uh, augmented reality is a little bit different because it doesn't block your entire view. So it'll show virtual images, graphics, outputs, stuff like that, but it doesn't cover your entire face. So uh, you can still see the environment and what's around you. It's just you also have these added graphics in your line of sight. Um, so one... One uh, scenario in which case this would be really helpful for during spacewalks is if there's some sort of complex issue that needs fixed. So for example, someone is in a, uh, a capsule and they need to repair a part on the outside that maybe they're not uh, familiar with, maybe it's beyond the scope of the astronaut's abilities. Um, something that they could do is someone on mission control who has that expertise could program graphics or instructions for how to do that fix and it will show up on the astronaut's helmet and so that way when they go outside and do the spacewalk instead of having somebody talking in their ear trying to explain to them it'll simply show up on the side of their helmet or like in their peripheral vision um, and show them how to do that which i think would greatly improve the efficiency and likelihood of success of that task um, that's not to say that virtual reality couldn't be used i know i've been mostly talking about augmented reality Virtual reality is actually, uh, it could be really useful if we were using robotics, so an autonomous robot arm to fix a satellite image. Uh, for that, you could just put the headset on and use some kind of controller to basically operate the robotic arm. Uh, and it'll look like you're doing it from outside the spacecraft, but really you're in the safety of mission control or the safety of the satellite. Uh, so once again, just making things easier, more efficient, while also keeping the astronauts and all other personnel safe. So these are just some of the many applications I can see for the aerospace industry as this technology uh, becomes more useful and more available. Uh, I look forward to continuing to learn about them next week. Thank you.